Some people got a problem with anything you do in the church. You uh -huh. bless somebody, they wonder why you bless that person. Yeah. You sing a song, why did you pick that song? Somebody comes up to preach, why they got him preaching? People who got a problem are people who have an agenda. When the woman came with the alabaster box of oil, the one who had the problem was the one who wanted the money. Yeah. She said, shouldn't this money be used for the, the poor? But the Bible said not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief. And you got to understand, people who have a problem with the money, who always want to know what's going on with the money, are usually the ones who are thieves. They're not even paying their time. They're not even giving them the money that they're worried about. But they always got something to say. Where the money going? What they spending the money on? Why do you care? It's not your money. You're not giving none of it. But you got an agenda. That's why you're concerned. And the reason why this man was so concerned about what Jesus did was simply because Jesus was able to do something that he was powerless to do. Uh -huh. We've been encountering too many powerless people over us that have a problem anytime a real anointing come into the house. They get like Saul, they want to get their javelin and they want to pierce the real anointing because they understand that a real anointing can destroy the yoke. A real anointing can lift up the heavy burden. A real God got to take a sudden seat. Uh -huh. The folks that get up in his house Amen. and act like it's their house. Uh -huh. Treat his people like it's Amen. their house. supposed to be stewards. Yes. After Jesus got through healing the woman, then the man had to come up behind Jesus and try to undo everything Jesus had did. He said, listen to y'all, he wrong for doing that. Because this is the Sabbath, and you don't heal on the Sabbath. Well, all you got is tradition, and your tradition ain't setting nobody free. So when a real anointing comes, and it don't agree with your tradition, you got a problem with it. But God said in Isaiah 43 and 18, I will do a new thing
Glory to God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Just praise him, baby. Just praise him, baby. No, quit living with that man you're not married with. Come on. Come on. Give him an acceptable praise. Come on. Sacrifice and praise. Praise because you gave up something you don't want. Give up. Come on. Praise him. Come on. 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 Come with the people of God, yeah, yeah. rather than to enjoy the pleasures yeah. of sin yeah. for a season. Oh, Look it up in the original Greek, that word season is transliterated, could also mean destruction or a trap. Uh -huh. So we'd rather endure affliction than enjoy the pleasures of sin for a trap for his destruction. Yeah. That's all that it is. Yes, it up. looks good, it's a pretty thing, it's an attractive yeah. thing. But if you step on that bait, you're going to be ensnared. Yeah. And when you get ensnared, you're going to be